All right, we're live. Give us a couple of minutes to hop on. There we go. We're live, baby. All right now. Hey, I'm excited to um, do some fun stuff today. I got a bunch of boxes in the mail. I got about four, five, six boxes that I'm going to go through today. Um, number one thing I wanted to do is just uh, shoot this video actually for a couple of reasons. So number one, let's uh, do it. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We did it. We hit Cabo San Lucas. So, hey, thank you for everyone that placed an order. I was actually talking to somebody today. wanted uh, them to realize, or just through that conversation, I realized that maybe some of you don't know, or, or maybe some of you do know, but actually none of the mall sales, so nothing I sold at the mall, actually counted to this push. This was a like two-week push starting on the 27th of December until uh, yesterday. Or today, I think early today. But anyway, it was just that short, like two week time period that I had to sell and, and hit the trip. So, but I'm glad to say we did it. We hit the trip. So, thank you to everyone that uh, supported me uh, from with your credit card or just for sharing or posting or saying, hey, you got this or encouraging me. It really helps and uh, had a great start to the new year. So, happy new year. It's 2023 officially. We're uh, back on the swing of things. Did our first event. Uh, last weekend in uh, Collinsville, Illinois, it was a lot of fun. So anyway, just again, gratitude. Thank you so much to everybody that helped me and, and supported me uh, along the way. So, hey, can we get some likes, some comments, some shares, some tag some people? I'm going to have some fun today. We had five or six boxes, boxes of Cutco get sent to me. So I wanted to start off by saying, um, uh, Nichelle Johnson, if you know who you, if you know uh, Nichelle, if you don't know Nichelle, uh, she was one of my last uh, orders at the... Uh, at the mall. So this box is for you that's inside here. I just got some brand new stuff back uh, from the factory. So look at this. These are some old school. Look at these. Woo! They're looking good now. Believe it or not, I know it doesn't quite look like that, but these are actually from uh, the 1970s-ish era. So we're looking at about uh, 50, uh, 45 year old Cutco there. So, but uh, anyway, uh, there was a poll that went out a little while ago, and Nichelle, just in honor of Nichelle, cool thing about Nichelle, she just became a, a grandmother for the first time, so uh, we had to definitely break out the old grandma paring knife. Look at that. So what is this all about, right? So for anyone, anyone that places an order with me, and it already started, this is a, something that started first day of the new year, which was December 27th, so starting then uh, through... Uh, the end of this month through January, we're going to auction off or give away a little drawing for a grandma paring knife. How about that? So I kind of joke and call it the grandma paring knife because it's a little smaller. You know, normally these paring knives, right, they go through all the way. And so like older ladies or sometimes, uh, you know, anybody really, they'll ask me, hey, do you guys still have that small paring knife? And no, we don't. We don't have that small paring knife any longer on our on our. Um, website or that we can sell brand new but this is a fully refurbished ready to go grandma pairing knife look at that just a nice little small one it still fits in your hand just right and uh, some people like that smaller pairing knife so anyway i'm excited to auction that off that's to or to give it away basically to anybody that uh, places an order with me so a lot of folks already we've, we've had over 40 orders uh this uh, year already uh, so thank you to everybody that supported me so far i appreciate that so all right back to the or to the meat and potatoes of this video i'm going to do a big unboxing what i'd like to do i get these questions all the time you know how do i use this set or how do i use this set or maybe you purchased any bigger set uh, with me you need the four main sets that i'm going to go over over this last year or just recently at the mall or maybe you just got it ordered and you're excited anticipating it coming to you but uh i was going to go ahead and break down the main four sets main four cutco sets that we have so number one we're going to go over the galley set so we're going to kind of build this up right the galley set uh, which is what we call our uh, galley set or consumers digest best buy or it could be just called like a 13 piece set it's another way to call it so for those of us just joining we got some fun stuff number one thanks for getting me to cabo number two we got some fun giveaways. We got the grandma paring knife going out uh, here soon. And uh, we're going to go over the four main sets. So we're going to start with galley set. Then we're going to go to the, the homemaker set, then the signature set, and then the complete set. Or, you know, sometimes you hear Cutco Pat, I'll call it the basic set, the starter set, the basic set, the family set, and then the beast, right? The beast. So 
uh, this uh, portion of the video, especially the beasts, uh, it's going to be dedicated to my uh, sister-in-law, Emily Jo. Uh, she uh, bought a set, a beast set, a while back. And uh, every now and again, this kind of, this was inspired by uh, meeting with her over the holidays. There's one of those, you know, family events we had, and I was at her house, and she's like, man, I, I don't quite know how to know some, how to use some of these pieces or some of these pieces. So I said, hey, uh, what better way than, you know, today when I had a little more time to... Uh, shoot a video and let her know how to use every piece in her beast, right? So, all right, without further ado, let's get into this uh, galley set here. So, what you'll know is all of our sets are going to come with a nice cutting board. So, I'm going to break that out, stack that up right here, boom, put that right there in front of me. All right, now this is what we call the six and six, right? It comes with six table knives, six of our everyday uh, table butter steak knives along with your six um, knives, and then it's also going to come with one fork uh, that goes with it. So, let's see here. Now, when you unbox this stuff, it's going to come on a nice box, right? It says, Cutco, made in America, right? There you go. Don't forget, Union, let's see if I can get this closer to the camera. There we go. You proudly made U.S. Steelworkers, right? I love that. I love that I can claim we're Union made, made in America. It comes in this beautiful packaging. You'll know when it shows up on your doorstep if it's a Cutco package or not. So that's uh, that's always good. Also, the block. It's going to come with, look at that, instructions. Where to put everything. That's awesome, right? All right, let me talk about these blocks. I love our Cutco blocks. They're like a piece of Amish, Amish furniture. This scooch out here. Here we go. Look at that beauty. Now this would be called our honey finish. Honey finish is distinct because you'll see that it's got the lighter finish there. We also have a cherry finish, which you may or may not see. I don't remember if there's a block in here coming up that's going to be a cherry darker finish. If so, I'll show you the difference, but I love these. These are built like a tank. They're designed to keep all of your knives organized and safe, right? You can tell here they got the little plastic nubs right here too. Plastic backings uh, cover here so the knife doesn't ever fall through or damage your countertop. Plastic uh, nubs there to not move around on the counter as well. Now this wood, it's sourced uh, out there in the eastern woods, woodlands of the New York and you know, eastern uh, forests out there. So it's just beautiful oak, built like a tank, just really, really rich um, finish and uh, polish that's on there too. So anyway... It's our six and six. As we can see, we got six table knife slots here, six knife slots uh, here and here, and we got our fork uh, slot right there. So I haven't posted this yet, but the fork actually I put to good use today. We fried up some bacon, so it'll be a nice little bacon video coming soon. So, all right, let's get started with the basics. That's what we call our, my Bert and Ernie, my two basics. So the number one part to the Bert and Ernie Got to go with your 1720, right? 1720 or the two and three quarter inch paring knife. Remember, this stuff is just for things in the air. We're going to do things in the air, not to be, not to be meant to use on the cutting board, though. You know, we're all guilty of doing that now and again. But this is designed for all those air jobs. So like peeling, coring, apples. Um, you'll do uh, bananas with this, kiwi fruit, things like that. Just anything like peeling potatoes. If you're more of a peeler versus a um, like a peeling with a knife versus like an actual peeler. This is the pairing knife that you go for. So anyway, 1720, one of our number one best sellers. It is part of the, and let's see where it goes here. What's the official official place for our pairing knife? Right there on the bottom as we see, right? So right here, there she is. She's ready to go. So, all right, I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Maybe we can see the block a little better. Back it up a little bit maybe. Let's see. Ooh, how about that? Give me some comments. You want to see my face anymore or you want to see the blocks some more? Face or block? Face or block? Huh? Face or block? Yeah, thanks, Dusty. Cabo, we hit it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Dusty. She, Dusty just got some scissors, too, ready to go for her uh, set she just purchased. So she was part of one of those first orders of 2023, ringing in the new year. That was fun. So, all right, part of the Burton Ernie, too. You got to have your 1720. 1720. 1721, right? Uh, 1720 there, 1721 right here. It's called our trimmer. It's the number one knife ever sold by Cutco. It's just really like a perfect in the hand uh, knife. You can see here, it's just a perfect extension of your hand. So what would I use this for? I use it for trimming up like fats off of chickens and steaks, sectioning limes, lemons, and oranges, things like that. It's great for that. It's our number one seller.
We use it all the time and it's probably the number one overused, guilty of being the number one overused knife uh, that I'm always sharpening up at the events, at the service events. So that one's actually going to slide right there for us, just perfect. So, all right, next one. This one's being guilt. This one's guilty of being the uh, love the confetti. Yeah, thanks, Mrs. Cutco. Oh yeah, this one's uh, definitely the one that people either love or they rarely use. So I gotta talk about this one. Look how that shines. That's like a perfect hand mirror. Look at that little mirror. You can see the ring light. Isn't that cool? There we go. So I'm gonna kick this up real quick and talk a little bit more about it. So our 1768, or what we call our spatula spreader. You can see closely, it's got a beautiful edge right there. There's me, oop, that's Inception, all right. <laughs> and then uh, it's got a semi-sharp edge here at the top. So you can slide it down through things, think like three in one, this is a spreader, cutter, server, right? Spreader, cutter, server. It's phenomenal for avocado and things like that too. So anyway, that one's gonna slide right there for me. Again, we're going over the galley set. This is a Consumer's Digest Best Buy. They ranked this as this being our best buy uh, that we have on our entire product line is this galley set. So next, next is the Everyday Carver. Love this one. It's called the 1729 or Petite Carver. There you go. Now see the, see the size of this. About as big as my hand right here, right? So think like things are like 7 to 10 pounds, right? You want to kind of think of diameter when we're going to cut foods. How big is the food? Well, I probably need to grab a bigger knife. So this is, again, a really great... Um, tool that get, gets used all the time. Think like carving a seven to 10 pound roast out of a uh, crock pot ride or a seven to 10 pound um, cantaloupe, pineapple, things like that. It's got enough of an edge there too, so you can bite and go through things that have a little bit of a tougher uh, outside as well. So it's a phenomenal, phenomenal knife. Probably gets used. You could probably even still, if you needed to, get by and slice a little um, Bread if you needed to, too, in a pinch. But this is a phenomenal knife, 1729. It's your everyday carver. Petite carver is what we call it. All right. All right, let's go. Workhorse. Workhorse time. Let's see what we got. There we go, 1728. Now you're going to find the 1728 in most, most of our um, sets that we sell. And the reason we, we sell this in almost every set is because of its... Um, longevity because of its appeal, right? We have the, if I told, pulled somebody off the street and asked you, hey, can you just draw me a kitchen knife, right? That's what they're gonna draw. So think about chopping, dicing, mincing, right? You're gonna use the back third of this blade right here, right there. If you just use that right there to do your chopping, you'll be in great shape. Hey, hey, there we go. We got Miss Vignola on, Vignola Farms, holding it down. What'd she say? She said, pairing knife's one of her favorite. Yeah, I knew that. That's Claire's one of one of her favorites. They live on a nice little farm there in Russellville, Missouri. Good old Russellville. So I know she's using that every single day to, you know, get stuff going for the babies, for the kids before they head to school. Or I guess they're probably in school now. They're at home now. They're doing the homeschool thing. So that's awesome. Love that. So, oh yeah, we knew what you meant, Claire. We knew what you meant. Next one is the 1724. So if you're just joining us, by the way, we're going through all four of our main sets. This is what we call our galley or our six plus six, uh, but uh, you gotta have a good bread knife, right? Not just for bread though. So a lot of times I get people ask me, hey, I'm, I'm kind of getting away from gluten-free or things like that. Now, hey, that breaks my Kansas farmer heart for sure. It breaks my heart, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is great for bread. It's also great for uh, lettuce, shredding heads of lettuce, shredding heads of cabbage. Also great for going through like a, a boneless meat, shredding like a ham, roast beef. I could also do, um, coming up here soon, St. Patty's Day, right? So shredding up that kind of, of, of meats and things like that. So not going to be used all the time, right? But it's always better. This is what I always say. It's always better to need it and not have it than have it, uh, need it and not, excuse me. <laughs> what is it? Better to have it, not need it than need it, and not have it. There you go. There we go. So like uh, I just got a $1,500 gift from my father-in-law this Christmas and mother-in-law this Christmas, a little toolbox. And I'm not going to use every tool every single day. But hey, I'm really excited to uh, have a peace of mind knowing that uh, I'm always going to have the right tool for the right job, right? So that's why you always get a set, by the way, with Cutco. You have the right tool for the right job. It's safer, right? It comes in this block or the trace. It keeps everything safe. Usually, you know, Cutco, Pat, you know me, I'll always probably hook you up with some kind of a fun deal or get you some free stuff to go along with it, too. So, all right. And then last but not least, you get six of these bad boys, these awesome ones, butter steak knives. 
This is what kept has kept Cutco in business. This is what's kept Cutco in business throughout the pandemic. I mean, we sell about a million dollars of these every, a million of these, excuse me, a million knives uh, every single year, just these one table knives. A million of those get shipped out to families around the United States every single year. Pretty cool, right? Not just for steak. It's got a butter knife look, but it's got that razor sharp steak knife edge. I call this my lunch pail knife, right? It works hard like that. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack one, snack two, snack three, right? So little tip for you. Take your knives, place them upside down, right? If you place them upside down, you'll have less wear and tear here uh, on the wood, okay? So a little uh, pro tip here for you. So, hey, as I uh, go through the rest of these and, and get them uh, set up here in our galley set, this is the start to our main fork. It's also going to come with a fork. Like I said, that fork was used for bacon this morning. It's going to be a fun bacon video uh, coming out. So if those uh, just join us, maybe you missed some of the first part. We got a grandma paring knife getting sent out to anybody that places an order with me. There's going to be a drawing for anybody that places an order with me uh, during the month of January here. Going to give a little fun little uh, little paring knife. Uh, Grandma old school vintage. It's a unicorn. You can't find it anywhere else. So that'll be fun to uh, see who earns that one or wins that one. So, hey, quick little fun tip. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but the month of January. The month of January, guess what it is? I think it's amazing. It's Sunday supper night. How about that? Let's get back to Sunday suppers with the family. I think Cutco certainly has a big part of that. So it makes me happy, makes me uh, excited to do what I do. I know that every person that's got a nice little set like this, got a Cutco set of any kind, heck, maybe they just have one piece of Cutco, but that's bringing families together, right? It's bringing uh, everybody together at the table and sharing memories and having good times. So, hey, somebody comment. Go ahead and comment and post. What was your favorite thing you got for Christmas this year? It doesn't have to be Cutco. I'm just curious to see how things went. So let's see. Mama Moore's chiming in now. Mama Moore's joining the chat. Welcome, Mama Moore. So... All right, we're gonna go next level. Next level. Next level, what do we got next? Ooh, this is a bigger box, of course. We're only gonna get bigger and badder. Bigger and badder. So, hey, you gotta have what? What do you gotta have when you open up your Cutco boxes? You gotta have your little lock back. It's the best one ever. There you go, there's my little Kansas Farmer one. So, we got right here, We what we have here is the Homemaker set. This is our Homemaker set. We're gonna go just one step up in the main four sets. So in this set, what we're going to see included, so it's everything that you saw in the galley set, right? Everything that you saw in the galley set. What'd you guys get for Christmas, huh? I'm not seeing anything. What'd you get for Christmas? Was it just Cutco? Was that the best? What was your favorite thing you got? Give me some comments. Give me some likes. Give me some shares. What do we get for Christmas this year? All right, so we got our homemaker set here. I believe it's going to be in red. Oh, yeah, look at that. Red cutting board. Prime rib from Dusty. That sounds good. Love that. So this one's going to be a red set. So red, if you get a red cutting board to go with your set, it means it's a, probably a red set. I mean, unless you got like a little custom deal. But let's see what we got in here. All right. So in our homemaker set, we've got our block. Got our knives there. And then we got the fun box too that comes with the knives. There we go. So it just gets gets a little more classy when we keep going up. How about that? That's fun. Boom. All right. So let's see what we got here. So I guess our homemaker set. This is probably the most popular set sold by Cutco every single year. Uh, we'll sell about 18 to 20,000 of these every single year to families just like yours. So you can see here, a little difference, right? We're just doing the eight and eight now. So we've got eight. Here, eight on top, and then we got two forks in this one. We got two forks in this one. So this is what I would say is part of our biggest main three. We have that galley set that kind of helps us with starting out with something, but this would be the, the basic start to your uh, Cutco kitchen and as far as the knives go. So again, you're gonna have eight of these great butter steak knives. Those go on the bottom as well. You got your cutting board. Cutting board is gonna come with a sharpener for straight edges, right? You just easily glide the uh, straight edges through that to keep it sharp. And then we're going to have eight other knives plus two forks to go with it. So it's a full standard 18 piece set in our homemaker set. So let's go through this a little quicker, but I still want to do this in review for those that are just showing up, right? Those that are just showing up here to get, uh, get started in our set. We always start with the Burton Ernie, right? Who remembers the Burton Ernie? 
Dutch ovens. There we go. Dutch ovens. Oh, that's exciting. We're going to have some fun recipes when I come over for the state fair this year down there in Russellville. But look at that. We got our Burton Ernie paring knife. Got our trimmer, 1721. Boom. Stuff for the air with the paring knife. 1721 trimmer, limes, lim limes, lemons, oranges, right? All right, there we go. What else we got next? What's next? What's next? Let's see. Mrs. Cutco's favorite. It's coming up. 1768. That's the spreader. Boom. We're having fun. Look at that. How do we look? How do we look? Boom. Boom, boom. All right. And then what else we got here? Oh, yeah. Meat carver. 1729. Remember, every day. So think like seven to 10 pound meats, things like that. Pineapples. Do some uh, cantaloupe fruit with that uh, as well. And I was going to look and see. So again, this is just the honey finish. So that nice, beautiful honey finish on the block with that set. And then we got the workhorse. This is actually, if you ever met with a Cutco rep when they first were getting started, and I like to say this too, but it's always fun to remember the good old days, uh, getting started with Cutco 10 years ago. This is going to be good for your six S's, Mrs. Jones. The good for your six S's, soups, salads, stir fry, stew, stuffing, and salsa. So, hey, there you go. We're just chop, chop, chopping right there. Just like that, rock and chop, rock and chop. It's going to get a ton of use out of it. So that is going to be your 1728 or your seven and three quarter inch petite chef. All right, so I wanted to skip forward a little faster through this set. We're gonna slow down now. Now we're gonna get into the three pieces that are in addition to this set that the galley set doesn't include, right? So the first one, and this, is one, this isn't gonna one you're gonna use all the time, but when I say that it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, this is the piece I'm always thinking about when I say that. Look at this. Boom. That's what we call our butcher knife, 1722. It's a beautiful, beautiful blade. It's got a little more heft to it. It's really good to, to just chop through things. See you, Claire. Thanks for stopping by for a few minutes. Chop through things that are tough and heavy. It's also good to go through, you can see this J shape. So I like to circle around my big pumpkins or melons and fruits that I go through. It's also good to get like racks, racks of ribs off the grill. Just a good one to have every now and again. I know Mrs. Uh, or excuse me, Mama Moore, right? Mama Moore, these fun characters that are in my life. We got Mrs. Cutco, we got Mama Moore. We talked about Mama Moore with this one. So nowadays she's kind of getting away from it, but maybe she forgot, she's forgot this. But back in the day, she used to get five big, big five pounds of big old hamburger chub meat from Sam's Club or from Costco or whatever it was. She had to, you know, section it out and get it ready for uh, the rest of the month to feed all those dang more kids around the house, right? This is what she grabbed. So think like stuff that are tougher to get through, chop through, hammer through. This is going to be your peace of mind knife. You're not going to use it all the time, but with that butcher knife, it's nice to have it and not need it, then need it and not have it. That's the idea. Good home security item too, right? I'm just kidding. But uh, no, it's a good one. Beautiful knife, beautiful knife that comes in your homemaker set. All right, next we have our... Uh, 1724, I'll, I'll skip past that one too, because uh, we get that one all the time too. We already had that nice bread knife, right? We remember that one uh, for sure, no doubt. But uh, the, last, the, the last three that come in the set here, we got your master carving set. So we got this one along with your master carving knife. Look how beautiful those two are together. Boom. You're going to feel like the man or the woman around the house when you have these in your hand. These are amazing. Who's my smoker? Shout out to my smokers or my meat, big meat eaters, my carnivore diet people, my eat like a bear people, or anybody that's like getting a lot more towards proteins and things like that. This is a great, great uh, set right here, right? You hold the fork, hold the meat down, carve it up. You're good to go. You get away from like electric knives. Electric knives are tough because... They actually absorb a lot of the grease and bacteria and germs that'll be in natural kitchens, but especially that, uh, you know, meat grease and things like that. And then the next year when you go to break it out and starts to go again, electric, right? Guess what's, guess what's kicking out onto that blade again? Yeah, fill in the blank, right? It's yucky, right? It's gross. So between you and me, I mean, electric knives, people always have their preferences, of course, but once you grab that cut cone and use it, 
uh, for the first time, you'll really notice the difference. It's, it's pretty amazing. So then, hey, there's that turning fork. Like, this one comes in the galley set as well, but there you have it. There you see it. It's good to have both forks, by the way. This fork is good to hold meats down. This fork is good to pick meats up and serve, right? We're going to do sauteing some stuff in a pan as well. You could do that with this. Just did bacon this morning with this as well on the griddle. These actually get used probably more than more than you'd think, especially when you start to really feel them and use them for things. Things like getting stuff out of char jars, cherries, olives, right? Pickles, things like that. Waking up kids in the morning. There you go. There's a one-two combo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But hey, there's a, there's your homemaker set. Again, it comes with eight of our uh, table knives there as well. So, hey, for those of us just joining, we're go getting and going through the four main sets that are going to be in your Cutco kitchen. Four different types of Cutco kitchen sets that you, you purchase. Started with our galley set. Just got done opening up our homemaker plus eight. Again, I'll reiterate, if you've got, you got a nice block at home, you got your table knives, make sure you put them upside down. you got less wear and tear there on the bottom of that block. So go ahead and... Uh, Prop that sucker up, fill it out. It's gonna be really fun when it comes. Who just purchased one? Who just purchased a set? Anybody just purchased a set on this on this video so far? You're waiting, you're excited, you're gonna do what I'm doing here in about one or two weeks or less. Who just purchased a set? As we watch, oh, look at this, this is awesome. Dusty, Dusty just got her order. She literally just got her order right now during the video. This is amazing. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Woo! Dusty's got a big set coming her way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give her some love. Give her some likes. You just joined the Cutco family. Dusty Frat. Thanks for joining. We're excited for you. Excited to see your unboxing. Show us a little picture when it's all set up and it's set up on the countertop. That's what I want to see. I just want to see the finished product there in the kitchen. I'm sure it's going to look beautiful, going to look awesome. So. Hey, if you're just joining again, we got a fun contest going out. By the way, you may have seen the post. All of my 2022 deals that I ever gave on this, this page are still available for another like month or less. It's going to end on January 30th, 2023. will be the very last day that I can offer any pricing that I have ever offered in 2022. Those prices, by the way, that we've always been able to offer have been available since 2021. So really, your price, your, your time to get 2021, 2022 pricing is this next month or less. So get on it. Give me a call. If you've ever thought about something or you're maybe you know, kicking it around a little bit, thinking about it, I will promise I'll make it worth it because prices are going to go up 9%. Say that again for the people in the back, right? Prices are going to go up 9% come February 1st. So I'd rather see you not have to spend that money uh, and, you know, possibly miss out on a really great deal because, you know, the best time to buy Cutco, guess what that is? Best time to buy Cutco is yesterday, right? Next best time is, uh, is today. So, hey, jump on it. You just have to search deal in this page at this Facebook group. You just search the word deal. It's going to pop up with any deal that I offered in uh, 2022. Those are all still available. Send me an email, send me a text, send me a carrier pigeon, send me a Facebook message, <laughs> whatever. I, I'll, uh, I'll definitely take care of you. So I just helped uh, somebody today. It was cool. She was getting a little hunting knife for her daughter. I just met her at the, uh, the mall, the West County Mall, and she bought a nice uh, engraved K-bar for her Marine husband who was fighting during the Vietnam War. And now she just got a little hunting knife for her daughter, I think, something like that. So and it was a lot of fun. So, hey, there's a the finished product. So this is the Homemaker Plus 8. This is the 8 plus 8, right? The 8 plus 8 knives on the bottom, uh, 8 knives on the top, 8 knives on the bottom, and your two forks. So typically, I'll see this one included with a pair of super shears too. So some of you maybe got a little super shears attachment that attaches here or attaches on the back or something like that. Maybe it's in the drawer. But also comes with your red cutting board there and then your sharpener for your straight edges. So, hey, we're about halfway through. What do you guys think so far? Is this helpful? Is this nice to see how to use how to use certain things, how to use certain knives. And I'll post this later. I know people are still probably working. We're kind of catching you during late work hours here as you're getting getting off work or maybe still working. So appreciate you all kicking butt, keeping the American economy rolling. Appreciate that. All right, what do we got next here? We got our signature set. We're gonna get into our big signature set, our big family set. 
So uh, let's go and do a little rearranging here. We're gonna go and box up the galley set, put the galley set back. There's our galley set one more time. It's our galley set one last time. There we go. Let's put that one back. All right, we got our homemaker set. There's our homemaker set one last time. We're gonna put him away. There we go. There we go. All right. Next is the family set. And what we call the Siggy. This is the signature set. I'm gonna have to stand up here. All right. This is the family set, the signature set, the mini beast. Some people call it the mini beast set. You'll see why here in a minute. Look at that. That's all in this big box right here. There we go. The mini beast. All right, let's see what she's looking like. Can you even see me? You see me just unboxing all kinds of fun stuff. What's going on? What's he doing? Oh my goodness, I can't see anything. What's happening? Hey, there we, there we go. Hey, so in your mini beast, what's cool is it comes with all three cutting boards. So our family and complete set, our signature and ultimate set, they come with all three cutting boards right here. So you got your small, medium, and large cutting boards. Look at that. Boom. All right. So we're going to go ahead and set the box down and then start to unbox our family set. This will also come with a nice sharpener for straight edges, which is awesome. So it'll be in good shape there. Comes with this beautiful big block. Look at that. We got the 10. You got 10 steak knives on the bottom. Right? 10 steak knives on the bottom with, uh, excuse me, 10 with 14 other items on top. You'll notice here the difference, the main difference you'll notice first, the block is not as big as the complete set, but also not as small as the homemaker set. They added about another 25%, I'd say, as we get towards the complete set here. So what's cool, people ask me this all the time too. I don't have a lot of counter space. I don't see that this block would fit in my counter. If you just take an eight by 10 sheet of paper, eight by 10 sheet of paper. That's the biggest that this uh, the block will ever be. So a complete block, it's about eight by 10 sheet of paper on the bottom of your counter. Put that down, if you can find space for it there, you can find space for a, for a um, Cutco block. So always prefer the Cutco block. It's always gonna keep you keep you in organized, keep you in uh, in tune there. But so let's go and start opening this, this thing up. So it's gonna have a few more pieces. So it's cool we add Let's see here, we have all of our homemaker basic pieces, plus the addition of a hearty slicer. We have our traditional cheese knife in this one as well. And we have our little mini chopper. So you get a couple choppers in this. A lot of folks ask me, hey, is there any sets that come with like an extra chopper? People are always grabbing for an extra chopper, so this will come with an extra chopper as well. Got your two forks, and then also, what I love, gotta get you a place for your super shears, right? Boom. Ooh. Nothing like some fresh super shears right out of the box. How about that? Come apart to clean. These are the ones, if you've ever seen a, a Cutco Wrap demo this to you, we'll cut up a penny, right? We'll cut through a penny, but realistically, this is great to cut through bags of food, boxes of food, go through um, chicken bone if you'd like to, and things like that. So you got a perfect slot right there for your super shears. So I'm gonna zoom on down here and start filling this block out here with some fun stuff. So. The first one I want to mention is our steak knife. So these are the first, this is the first step where you can actually add in a little customization and get you a steak knife. Look at that. Boom. I'm so glad we came out with these. When you look at the Cutco kitchen, you'll also have some forks and spoons that go with your Cutco kitchen and pots and pans. And if you look real closely on the forks and spoons, the forks and spoons actually come with your butter stainless steak knife, your little butter knife, steak knife, the little table knife, stainless table knives. And so when you get your knife set to go with your kitchen, I always recommend these bigger steak knives. You know, it's a little more horsepower. It's gonna give you a little more um, oomph to get through your larger um, chicken breast, steak, things like that. 
it's not just for stick two. Like, let me sh let me see if I can get the seventeen twenty one out here first too. Remember that trimmer? Remember that seventeen twenty one I showed you? Let me show you the difference here. Here we go. So, in our little Burton Ernie, the Burton Ernie, the second part of Burton Ernie, or Ernie in this case, right? <laughs> is the 1721 right comment if this is one of your favorite knives is this one of your favorite knives i bet it is the 1721 now let me show you the difference with the 2159 not much right you just get a little more thickness on the 2159 a little more girth right so it's good for at the table but with these you use them just about as much as you'll use those 1721s so it's a great backup you'll be grabbing for them all the time right this one's going to go right here so we're going to have 10 of these that fit perfectly upside down of course if i can uh line it up there we go boom ready to go your little 1721 it's going to go right there so we're going to put that one in there to go with it so you get 10 of these 10 of these beautiful steak knives which you're always grabbing for these you know right now it's just me and the missus at the house right now mrs cutco and heck we got 12 of those butter stainless steel take steak knives from our flatware chest that we got for a, for our wedding and like half of it's in the dishwasher all the time i swear it's like every time i go and look it's like half of it's in the dishwasher so i know if we get good use out of it you and your family will absolutely too i'm um, just using them all the time for different things like that so whether it's your steak knives your table knives or your stainless steel table knives just know that those are going to be used all the time i recommend getting these bigger steak knives just to cover all of your bases just have a little more horsepower these days, you know. Why does everybody, you know, drive that truck versus that car or, uh, you know, drive the SUV versus that car, right? So that's just how it goes. Let's get our forks in line too. So right up the line here, got our scissors, got our two forks that'll go right here. Got your turning fork, remember? Pickles, olives, cherries. Do a uh, little bacon in a pan, sauteing anything. Doing a little, uh, maybe a little veggie action there too with the stir fry. You're going to use that in the pan as well. Put your carving fork to go along with it. Now these fit sideways, so always make sure you put these sideways if you got one of these bigger blocks. They'll fit just perfect, just right so, just like that. All right, next to go up the um, food chain here, so to speak. This is going to be the one I'm going to feature here first here. We got one feature that uh, will not be featured in any of the blocks that we've shown you so far. So the first one is our 3738. This is like a steak knife. Like if, you, if the steak knife went to the gym for uh, you know four or five months here during the beginning of the year. Look at that. <whistles> Isn't she beautiful? This is called a hearty slicer or a really tough, tough stuff. Look how thick the tine, or the tang is there. See that knife blade as it goes through? It's a really thick blade there. This is the thickest blade we make with the double D edge, with that uh, serrated double D edge, right? And so think about going through stuff that's just tough for you, like acorn squash. You can do like hard cheese blocks and pepperoni blocks with this. This is a great one to, you know, do large like racks or ribs off the grill i love this my barbecuer's best friend so who do you know has like a traeger or a smoker or likes to just do a lot of meats or um, who do you know that likes to get through tougher stuff like you could do like a pineapple with this too right if it's a little tougher just something that's a little tougher to get through this is the one i i would pack so it's my tailgate knife too right for those chiefs fans out there who knows a little little arrowhead action right looks like an arrowhead right so i always, I always used to call this and i still do it's my tailgater knife so that one's going to go right here at the top. It's going to fit just perfect right on top of those forks. So, all right, let's go down here. This here is going to be our Burton Ernie special. So, uh, Bert, to get started with it, we got a little paring knife, of course. Got to have a paring knife. It goes with every kitchen set that we, we sell. It's going to have a paring knife in it. So, it's just so vital to have it. If I ever asked a chef, they'll tell me, hey, Patrick, if I had to tell somebody, they need three things. They need a good paring knife. You need a good utility knife, and you need a good chopping knife, right? So you're going to see all of our sets feature those three items. So there's your paring knife to go along with your trimmer, the Burton Ernie Special. And right above the trimmer, right above our 1721, right in this slot, right above here, right here, 
The next one's gonna be our 1729. Remember, that's everyday carving. You could ever do like a grapefruit with this too. Anything that's about the size of your hand, that's gonna be the knife that uh, you'll go for. So that'll be right there to go along with the uh, trimmer. So this is the next big brother of the trimmer. And then the uh, next one is gonna be your carver. Or we call it 1723, the master carver. Now, I always like having these three right on top of each other for organization. The block, the block will tell you, the, the, the instructions will tell you to not put it there, but I always like to have it there because you can tell, right? Boom. One. Two. And then three, right? So it's like a little evolution that you see there. So, all right, let me get through the rest of this here. We got in this one, you get the bigger chopper to go with it, which is cool. So we haven't seen this girl yet. This is my mom's favorite. It's Mrs. Moore's uh, Cutco, uh, excuse me, Mama Moore, right? Mama Moore, that's her favorite. The French chef. So that Frenchie, Frenchie goes right on top. Know that if you need help organizing your block, think like this, right? I'm going to turn this on its side for a minute. As I have smaller pieces that go on the bottom, bigger pieces that go towards the top, right? Smaller to bigger, right? So that's the Frenchie. French chef, she goes right there. And then she's going to be backed up by little sister. They're kind of like a brother-sister combo, right? There's the big brother there, the butcher. He's going to go right there. And then we got another one here that's, you've seen this one already, of course, but got to show it one more time. Got to have your nice bread slicer. That's going to go right there for us, like so. Perfect. And then we got mother-in-law Denise and Mrs. Cutco's favorite, the 1768 spatula spreader. Boom, boom. That's going to go right there for us. All of our spreading, cutting, serving, Rice Krispie treats, lasagnas, brownies, cakes, cookies, right? All right, now there's two more. These two more we've never seen yet. But maybe you own them. But as far as what I've shown you so far, you haven't seen these yet. So we got our 2166, where we call our mini chopper. This is a great item for just grabbing a little onesies, twosies, right? Doing a little... Um, Excuse me, doing like a little um, little onion, right? A little uh, green bell pepper, just chopping up a little chop job right there. You'll have your little chopper to go with your big chopper up top, right? So you got a one-two chopping combo with your big chopper and your little chopper. So you'll be all set and ready to go. And lastly, you may have already heard me mention this, but this is what we call our MVP. It's really starting to take off in sales. This is our number one sold knife of all time, 1721. This one is starting to become the rookie of the year, right? Or the newest one, or just it's really starting to take off and it's starting to become our number one seller. I would guess the next like five to 10 years, it'll start to be the number one seller. It'll surpass the 1721. So this is our cheese knife, or we call our 1764, 1764 cheese knife. Not just for cheese, right? This is the seven course Irish meal. So you see my little hat today? Little look at the Irish. Hey, March 17th, by the way, put it on your calendar. Cutco Pat St. Patty's Day Bash. It's coming to you live from Dogtown, St. Louis. So if you can make it, I'd love to see you here. But hey, when we're doing a little Irish seven course meal, right? You know what the Irish seven course meal? I got a little joke for you. Irish seven course meal. You pop six pints of your favorite soda or favorite root beer, wink, wink, right? <laughs> six pints of your favorite root beer and you slice up a potato. No, I'm just joking. But honestly, right? Think like raw potato, sausage, cheese, things that are sticky or starchy. This is what this knife is designed for. It's got twice as many teeth. If I can show you a little closer there, right? Twice as many teeth that the 1721 has. So it's super razor sharp. You can spread a little brie or a cream cheese up top here with the thick tip. It's good to uh, go through um, corn on the cob too and things that are like starchy like that as well. So Anyway, I'm going to cut this video off here now, uh, finish up by saying 
Thank you, everybody, so far that helped me to get to Cabo. I really appreciate it. We did it. We earned it. I can't wait to post pictures of me being there on the beach and showing you all the fun activities we're going to have with the Vector family down there. So, you know, Vector people, we can have a fun in a, in a cardboard box if we really wanted to. So imagine what it's like when we're put at a beautiful resort somewhere down there in Mexico. So anyway, um, we didn't get to the complete set yet today, but that probably is going to take a little more time. I want to go really in-depth with the complete set go in depth with every single piece in our Cutco product line and show you how to use it. So that'll be for another day. Uh, sorry, uh, sister-in-law, uh, Amy Jo, I'll uh, definitely have to get that to you soon. But uh, again, we covered a lot today. We covered our galley set, homemaker set, and our family signature set. It's kind of like our hidden secret set, the signature set. So anyway, if you have any questions, reach out to me. All deals and discounts are available to you until January 31st. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for helping me get to Cabo San Lucas. I'm really excited to uh, show it off, and, um, and it was a team win. It wasn't just me, so I uh, appreciate it, and I'll see you back here uh, before you know it. So thanks.